can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's begin with a square. And let's draw two congruent yellow square and a red square in this part. Now, the length of this side is 8 units. Now, given four squares, the yellow squares are congruent. Now, the question is, what is the area of the red shaded region? Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right, so given this figure, the goal is to find the area of this red region. Now, since we don't know this length, let's call this as x. So this x is the side length of this small square, red square. And since this is x, therefore the side of this big red square simply equal to 8 minus x. So this side is also 8 minus x. Now, this part is just 8 minus x minus x or simply 8 minus 2x. Now, since these two sides are equal because these two yellow squares are congruent, we can say that each of the segment is equal to 8 minus 2x divided by 2 or simply equal to 4 minus x. Now, to find the area of the red shaded region, what we're going to do is to get the area of the big square, red square rather, then add the area of this small red square and subtract the area of these two congruent yellow squares. Now, to find the area of the square, this is just the length of the side raised to the power of 2. So this is just 8 minus x raised to the power of 2. And the area of this small red square is just x squared. And the area of this yellow square is just 2 times 4 minus x raised to the power of 2. Now, simplify these expressions. We have 64 minus 16x plus x squared. Now, bring down x squared. And then 4 minus x raised to the power of 2 times 2. This is just negative 32 plus 16x minus 2x squared. Now, take note, x squared plus x squared, this is just 2x squared. So 2x squared positive negative 2x squared is just 0. 16x and negative 16x are 0. And 64 minus 32, this is just 32. And this is actually the area of the red shaded region. And that is our answer to this question. And of course, there's a shortcut for this kind of puzzle. And the shortcut is called the invariance principle. So the invariance principle in geometry, particularly in the context of catriona Ag's puzzle, refers to the idea that a solution remains unchanged even when the problem is presented in different but equivalent geometric configurations. This principle is useful when a problem's constraint don't uniquely define a specific diagram, but a unique solution exists by exploiting its invariance, one can simplify the problem by visualizing or constructing a more convenient configuration to find a solution like this. So in this configuration, the red area is simply half the area of the square with a side length of 8. So 8 squared is 64 divided by 2, you get 32 square units. And that is our answer to this question. And as always, we are done.